hi guys it's nidhi what's up and in today's video i will tell you how you can edit your videos like a pro in windows movie maker it's an amazing freeware for all those who don't want to invest too much money in macbook and other expensive stuff so let's get started before uh, going into the video i would like to tell you a few things that would help you in getting a better video first of all just install klight codec because movie maker doesn't support a lot of media types so this will help on the go and not to use specific software to first convert and then import it so it might just take few minutes uh, to get it done but uh, it's a handy thing then you might need a smart voice recorder or just download it from play store on your mobile phone this helps this is an amazing software which would help you in recording all those voiceovers because it just doesn't uh, record any background noises and it's an amazing software and then you might need adobe auditions or audacity these are two different softwares that would help you in getting rid of any any unnecessary noise and even amplify your uh, voiceovers or the voice in your video itself so you would need these three uh, softwares in addition to the movie maker now the first step is to add your video clip just click on add image or video and just select your desired video from the list of videos that you have and just click on open and it gets imported now this was already imported so it doesn't took time but it, it might just take few minutes to depending on the size of the file and then you would like to adjust the video volume because if you're doing voiceover you wouldn't like to keep it low or otherwise you will may like to keep it full then third thing is trimming and splitting i like to use the split the start set start point and set end point features to split and trim my video and these are really handy you, all you have to do is just go to your desired point and then just split it and you can remove it by right clicking the right clicking and selecting on remove or you can just set a start point or end point like i'm doing in the video it's really easy and very 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 easy to do it now once that is done you would want to adjust the speed because like to give that pro feel uh, i like to like this is an intro video so i'm making my videos at 0.5x or 0.25x or sometimes i would like to speed them up so yeah this comes really handy and then uh, it's about pan and zoom this windows movie maker has an amazing feature of pan and zoom so it moves your video uh, even when your video is not moving and also zoom it or um, or unzoom it I, if that's the word that's really amazing so i like to choose this automatic one or otherwise i would go with the features that are already provided with it it's just your personal choice and the way you want your video to look you have to be a bit creative as well in making your video so yeah once i'm happy with my pan and zoom feature like you can see this video was still and now it is moving so yeah you if you want that feature you can totally get it here next is the transitions Windows Movie Maker offers a variety of transitions to choose from. I like to go for these two ones, the white ones. Um, and if the my if it's an introductory video, I would like to use the black one. You can also add visual effects. It has tons of visual effects to add. You can add multiple visual effects as well. So it's totally your choice. Then comes adding music to your video. Just click on Add Music, select from your library, and there you go. You would like to increase or decrease the video uh, the audio volume of the music as per your choice then comes adding text just click go to the home but tab and click on add caption just write your text select your font select your size then select the border type select the color and there you have your caption they have uh, multiple transitions also available to choose from you can choose from whatever you suits you so yeah that's how i do it you can also choose the duration of your text how long you want it on the screen multiple features for text as well then comes the record narration part you can actually record as well but it's not a good idea i like to record on my mobile phone and then import it and you can also split or modify it because sometimes you might just ro go wrong somewhere or there is a lot of uh, noise somewhere or gap or silence you can totally trim it as you have trimmed or split your video then comes the intro part so i have already a pre-made intro so i just add image or video and just select it and it automatically gets imported here so yeah that's how i add my intro you can totally make your own or 
totally up to you and the last part is to save your movie just go to file save your movie i usually go for a uh, recommended for this project and yeah that was all that i do to make my videos look beautiful i hope this video was really helpful and if it was then do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i shall see you in my next one till then take care bye